Hello everyone, um, Eric Lemmy here, you watch my YouTube vlog, watch my sentimental thoughts come from my heart, also where my mental oddball shenanigans come from my brain. It's EML 77 TV, episode 649, 1126 PM, still May 31st, 2020. Um, I know I said a lot, a lot of things on the last episode, and, um, I kinda wanna elaborate on that because I got, Got a lot of heat on Twitter, and um, because uh, Pressure Luck was advertising his second season premiere that obviously aired tonight, I will not spoil you guys on what is going on because there's some folks out there in the um, Central and West Coast have not seen it yet. Plus, the shows out there could get pre the show out there could be preempted because of the riots that have been going on, and um, so. I did air the show. I feel more relaxed. I feel happy now. Um, we know, listen, I understand what's going on in all over the country. We There's riots everywhere. We got cops beating people up, shooting people with rubber bullets. And obviously, and obviously a lot of ruthlessness, a lot of anarchy, craziness going on in the world. And we still have a pandemic that we're still under, believe it or not. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in this generation of the way they've been acting. Because I know, I can only say, you know, during the 80s and 90s, we never had that problem. And then I got on Twitter, people call me a privileged uh, white, uh, privileged white man. Uh, I was called a racist. I had I had a lot of jokes, and I had a lot of insults thrown at me. Um, people call me, um, there's one person that called me, basically made a, a pedo joke, which I do not appreciate. And uh, I've been accused of being a lot of things that I'm not. And that's the thing that, um, that really hurts. And I, uh, I've been fed up with the how toxic um, social media can be. And I'm not going to get off... Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. I'm just going to use the block button from here on in because I'm not. It's not because I hate anybody. I don't use the block button because I hate people. It's because I don't like people using um, shoving their venomous garbage down my throat. I'm just tired of it. And I figured I don't have zero tolerance for venomous garbage any longer. I don't care if they're trying to tell the truth or not. I'm just had enough. And um, I'm gonna make it. I gotta, I gotta take a stand. I gotta make a stand. And sometimes the best way to do that is not saying anything at all. You know, the you know the old saying is you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. You know, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be rational with some of these people on Twitter. And I figured that's it. I've had enough, so I blocked. One person told me to eat bleep. Well, after I said, hey, listen, this show will be a welcome distraction from everything else. And they said, oh, we don't need a distraction, we need change. And I, can, I get that, I understand we need change. But the fact of the matter is, pollute, um, looting and riot, rioting, um, disrespecting cops and people in authority, making fun of people on Twitter, even if people in authority and all that, lambasting them, listen, it isn't going to get the job done. November is the key, you go out and vote. That's it. Like I said on the last episode, you know, go out and vote. That's all you need to do. You know, but we end up picking our poison again. You know, because not a lot of people are big fans of Joe Biden either. And about most of this country hates Donald Trump. So, you know, take your poison. Pick your poison either way. It won't be good. You know. And for those who admit, you know, I bet you two to one, most of these rioters and looters and all that never bothered to vote. It's their fault. See, the reason why we're in this situation right now, it's our fault. The people. Alright? For the people who never bothered to vote, it's their fault. The people who have bothered to vote may have voted for the wrong person. It's their fault. We all try, we all try, you know, because we're too busy fighting, we're too busy, um, you know, berating each other on Twitter, or on Facebook, social media. We have people defriend each other, and, and it saddens me. And it saddens me. And, you know, it saddens me and it hurts my heart, you know. Listen, I'm not being ignorant of, of the situation that, 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 that is going on right now. Alright, just let you guys know that. I, I'm just very, you know, very heartbroken in the way people have been acting and all that. And they think, you know, 
it's listen, I don't shove my beliefs or you know I don't shove my beliefs down anyone's throats. I'm a born again Christian. I know better. Okay? I don't force the gospel down anyone's throat. If people will choose to hear it, they will hear it. If they don't want to hear it, it's on them. It's their decision. You know, if you want to believe in God, it's your decision. If you don't want to believe in God, that's your decision too. It's up to you. If you feel, if you feel you want to talk to me and ask me, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to get everybody saved, you know. But, you know, I'm not here to be Captain Savior, you know. I care, but I do care about people and I love people. When I became friends, when I became friends with people, I care about them. I don't care about the color of their skin. Never have and never will. I care about what's inside their hearts. I know this. Okay? I care. Alright? And for those who've been hating on the show, Precious Luck, oh, it's bad timing for you guys to air the show and everything else and blah, 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 blah. My personal opinion, that show was a much needed escape from what's been going on in the news right now. And I needed it. And it was a feel good moment. And everybody was saying, and then, and then you get people with the dumb tweets. Oh, why are you bringing social distancing? Oh, that's a women right there. They taped the show before the pandemic hit. Alright? I mean, I'm very, very upset at this. Of the way people are, you know, bland basting a game show Twitter account. And, it saddens me. It just does. It just saddens me. And, you know, I'm very relieved that the show aired on my TV without any interruptions or preemptions because of the riots. And, thank, you know, praise God about that. I get to enjoy the show. I got to enjoy Celebrity Family Feud. I got, you know, it's one of the funniest shows ever. And all I can, all I can say is, if you haven't seen Celebrity Family Feud tonight, go watch it. It's just, I... You'll be laughing your butt off because a lot of comedy was in and on that show. Unbelievable. Just all I gotta say is that. Just you'll be laughing your butt off. You'll love it. Trust me on this one. And if you haven't seen Pressure Luck, you better pray that you're able to see it afterwards. All I can say is, wow. That's all I'm going to say. That's one word. Wow. Back to my. Um, Back to what I want to talk about. Uh, listen, I've been blessed to have a good life. I, I am blessed, you know. Listen, I am blessed to have a good life. I know there's people out there that worked hard, worked hard to have a good life. You know, every every person, doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, yellow, red, what, what have you. If you're a hard-working person, and you worked hard to get where you're at, you earn my respect. Because a lot of us have worked very hard. New Bedford is the most multicultural city that we live in. We all get along. You know, there is a protest going on in the, in the Route 6 um, for Haven Bridge there. The for Haven Bridge. Which if, I, if I'm going to want to go to Gene Seafood, I'm, I'm not going to take that. Area because I live, live near Cogsall Street. I'm going to go, whew, go by Market Basket and go up Fairhaven and go that way. No big deal. It's, you know, no big deal. But, um, there's a better way. You know, peaceful protests are good, but there's got to be a better way that you can do, you, we can make a difference without having the cops pelt it pelt at you guys and hurt you guys. You know. I mean, there's got to be a better way, guys. There has to be a better way. I mean, like I say, you know, protests are good if you do it peacefully and respectfully, but, you know, <clears throat> the police keep escalating things and making things worse and I mean, I saw, was it one person, you know, was living in Minneapolis, and, and she was hanging out, I think, with her family members or friends at home, and they were videotaping the, the, the military police coming down the street, their street, quiet neighborhood, very quiet neighborhood, and they were screaming, get inside the house, get inside the house, get inside the house, and they were on their porch just hanging about, you know, and they're not causing any trouble and all that, and they started shooting at them, rubber bullets, and I'm like, she's a... 
I don't know if I'm, I should be stuck here in this basement for life. I really don't care at this point. Uh, but this is, this is what the, this is what's going on today, you know, and it's really sad. You know, my heart goes out to all those cities, to people with those cities who are hurting. I pray for each and every one of them. But guys, there's gotta be a better way. There has to be a better way. I don't know what, but the best way, all I can tell you is November. November. Five more months away. Five more months away. Go out and vote for who you feel that should help this country out. For who you feel inside your hearts. That's all I got to say. You know, it's up to us who we have to vote for. Believe me, my heart goes out. I really don't know. I'm just very disappointed in this gen- generation. It's it, man. You know, it's like the generation has learned nothing. I mean, this has been uh, so far. This has been the worst year. I mean, we still have the other half of the year to go, but this has been the worst year so far. You know, started you know basketball's biggest legend. Then the pandemic has come come up, and then. I mean, I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in a lot of people right now. I'm just... I mean... I'm just... I'm just, you know, I'm just hurting. I'm just, you know, I'm just... Oh, not hurting, hurting, but I'm just, you know, kind of words to describe what's been going on, you know. But unfortunately, this is what we have to deal with, you know. This is the reality we're in right now. And to me, I'm trying to keep myself mentally balanced, and that's probably the only way I have to do things. And that's why most of the time I try to ignore the news. And not bother watching the news. Be well aware what's going on. I'm well aware what's going on, but there there are times where I just cannot watch the news or watch the posts 24 seven because mentally it's going to wreck me, and I don't want that to happen to me. I love. I have a family that loves me too much to have my mind wrecked over all this and the way the people have been talking to me. About this. I mean. I mean. You know people. You know if. If you. If you miss. If you read my tweet. And you know I'm going to go. You know my tweet. And almost like saying you know. Goodbye crew world. I'm not. You know. I'm not committing suicide or anything like that. That's not the answer either. But um. I um I really don't know. Seriously. I just I just feel that I need to start, you know, spreading some positivity. I mean, you know I feel like I need to be um I don't want you know I'm saying I'm turning into a hippie or something like that. But uh I just wanna, you know I just wanna spread love, you know, I want to spread some fun and entertainment. You know, be be an escape for, from people's dark worlds. You know, there are people out there that are hurting out there, and I'm p- going to be praying for them from here on in. It's people, there's friends that I know that are out there, and I love. You know, my family's been through a lot too. You know, life knows no colors. That's what I'm trying to get at. People say, "Oh, you're white privilege." No, no, no. Life. Knows no color. All right, life knows no color. All right, life hits everybody, not just not just the colored people, not just the black and brown people. It hits all people. Granted, your situation is different than my, my mind. You know something? There's only one race we're running. And that's human. We should be, we should be running. It's human. 
you know? You know, and people judge me by my looks. Telling me that I'm some kind of pedo. Which, pedophile, I mean, I don't do crap like that. I'm sorry, I don't. Of course I follow hot girls, but they're a lot older than, you know. They're 21 and up, I follow them. That's how I am. But still, it's disgraceful that people will insult me and make jokes about that. And, you know, I don't spy on kids. I don't spy on kids. Listen, I'm an uncle. Alright? I'm an uncle. I have uh, three nieces and two nephews. I rarely even see them. I mean, I, I rarely see my, nie- my two nieces and my one nephew. Okay? I have a niece and nephew at home. I just became an uncle again recently. You know? Children are the most precious things in the world. You know, every time my little niece, Braylin, looks at me, points and goes, Mama? Yeah, go see your mama. I always say, go see your mama. You love your mama. You know? You know, and just... I've yet to hold my little nephew. That's another thing, too. I've yet to hold him. And I want to get to hold him one day. And, uh, show how proud I am of an, of an uncle I am. So it's pretty, pretty cool. But, you know, God has blessed me with a lot of things, man. And, uh, but I know he's also blessed me with a heart for people. And that's why I'm doing this. You know, a lot of people tell me a lot of things, you know, and say a lot of mean things to me, man. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not letting that stop me from doing what I'm doing. You know? We got one crazy uh, uh, person on Twitter saying you'll get, the, um, that said to the uh, Prussia Luck Twitter uh, account, get the F off Twitter. The guy, the person is paid to to tweet about the show, to advertise about the show. ABC's paying that person. And I told that person, I think it was Meg, M-E-G, I said to her, I said, listen, Go to ABC uh, Twitter account. Just ABC News Twitter account. Complain there. But you know what? After I was told to eat bleep, I said, well, you know what? I try to be kind and nice. I said, but you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to block you and whoever likes your tweet and retweets your your tweet. Because I don't think it's right. You know, you know I don't think it's right. That's not, not great. That's an immature response that I got from this person. So I did that. I did. I did use the block button, and that's what I decided to use. And I think it's a lot stronger. I don't block people because I hate them. Because I don't. I block them because I don't want their venomous garbage being shoved down my throat and ingrained in my brain. I don't want that negativity. I am not about that life anymore. You know, I'm, you know I refuse to make fun of people. Period. I refuse to make fun of people. You know, I refuse to crack jokes. So I said, if anybody wants to hate on me and troll me, bring it on, because the block button will be activated, not only on Twitter, but on here and YouTube as well. You want to tell me things that I don't know? Tell me things that I'm not? You want to lie about me? You want to lie to me? Come on! I blocked a lot of people. I ain't afraid to block a lot more. Oh, you blocked me because you know, because you can't take it. No, I'm getting sick of it. It's not that I just can't take it. I'm getting sick of the negativity. It represents negativity. I don't want any negativity in my life anymore. Where am I, you know, people think, oh, you're out of touch with your reality. No, I'm not. It's the way I choose my life to be. If I choose my life to be in a negative manner, I'm going to act negative, negatively and affect a lot of people. And I don't want to do that. I want to set the best example of being a positive person or a positive role model. If I want to be a role model, I'm not perfect. But I want to set the example of being a positive person that I can be. And a loving person and a caring person. And a kind person. If you're going to spew a lot of venom towards me, I ain't having it. Stay back. You know, I call those uh, 
you know, those trolls and haters and bullies. I got a perfect name for them. Life vampires. Because they just suck the life right out of you. They suck the happiness right out of you. The happy life vampires. They like to suck the life right out of you. Happy life vampires. <laughs> They like, they want to suck, they want to suck the happiness, the positivity, anything that's good about you out of you to make you mean and evil and want to go out and throw rocks at cops and murder somebody and be upset. I ain't having that life. I ain't, I ain't gonna deal with the happy life vampires anymore. I want to be a happy life person. And I don't want the happy life getting sucked out of me. Yes, I know what's going on in the world. Another thing I can do about it is pray about it. Ask God for wisdom. I want to ask God for wisdom. I want to ask Him, what can I do? Do you want me to be a messenger of yours to spread the message of love? Let them know that Jesus loves them. Let them know that, hey, God's got your back. You'll be alright. Just trust Him. If you let Him. I'm sick of the happy life vampires. Sucking the life out of good people, good-natured, happy people who want to be entertaining. Who want to entertain to help us escape from the doldrums of the evil reality that we're in right now. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about the happy life. I'm all about being positive. I'm all about being kind, respectful. That's why I do this. That's why I've been playing all the game shows as of late. I recently played Pressure Luck yesterday to get ready for tonight's premiere, and I was hyped. I was hyped. I say, let's do this. I tweeted, let's do this. I watched. It was exciting. The bonus round was exciting. I cannot tell you what has happened in the bonus game. All I can tell you is... All I can tell you is that it was an awesome bonus round. Unlike any other, Rays could go up for pressure luck. And I'm excited. I was excited. It had me at the edge of my shirt. I took a lot of pictures of it. I'm not going to post the pictures until after every one of my friends has seen the show. And you know what? I got chills. I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to do it. I am not going to go into a Grease Mega Mix, please. <laughs> I got chills watching that show, and it was so good. All I can tell, I thought history was going to be made. But it was, all I can tell you is it was exciting. You have to watch the show. First episode of the second season premiere, and I got excited. And it got exciting, trust me on this one. Watch, just watch the show, and you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Listen, the happy life vampires on on social media, don't listen to them. Don't let them suck the happy life out of your neck. Or out of your brain. Happy life zombies, happy life vampires, whatever. All I know is they suck the life out of you. They... They suck the life out of you. No, happy life vampires a lot better. Beware of the happy life vampires. They're worse than whammies. You know, because I refuse to let any hater steal my joy. Because I've always believed what the Bible says. In everything, give thanks. In all things, count it all joy. I go by that. That's why. I go by that. I choose to live by that. Anybody got a problem? Come on. What you got? I love what I'm doing here on YouTube is entertain all of you. And that's what I want to do. I refuse to be a happy life vampire. I refuse to suck the life out of someone else. 
If you're not a fan of their work, don't follow them. Don't don't tweet them. Say I love you and all. Don't don't tweet them mean things. Leave them alone. Let them be, and walk away. Just walk away. Kelly Clarkson. I forgot. I love that song. Walk away with Kelly Clarkson. Really cool song. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to lighten things up here, but at the same time, I want to be serious and speak from the heart. All right. I love you guys. All right. I love you guys too much for you guys to be scared of what's going on in the real world. Don't be scared. All right. Do not fear. You know, God's got you back. Whether well, you believe in Him or not, He's got you back. It was, I'm, pr- it's, I'm praying for you guys to remain safe. I always pray to God to make sure the people are safe, including all my friends out there. I love you guys. All right. But do not allow the happy life vampires get to you. They got into a lot of people and they end up killing themselves. And we can't have that. Suicide's not the answer either. The violence, the looting, the pushing, the shoving, the fighting, beating someone up. I understand some people are trying to defend their property and defend... I, can, I get that, but there's better ways to go around, go about it, though. There's got to be better ways. Just trust in God. That's all I got to say. You need to be safe. But I'm very, very appreciative of the fact that I did apologize. Um, one thing I forgot to do is go to church this morning. And I should have gone to church. It would have helped me relax a little bit. But uh, I overslept. I woke up and it was like 9.45. And I was like, I forget that I'm not a teenager anymore. <laughs> so I got up and um, I got up, did my, uh, so I got up, made that phone call for the, to the unemployment, unemployment agency because I'm still out of work due to, due to the pandemic for the time being. And, um, You know, I'm just, uh, hmm. so, so I got up and I apologized, and my parents go, what happened to you? And I said, well, I overslept, man. I did watch the church uh, service on the live feed. I did, a, went on Zoom to apologize to my church family, that some of my church family members that were there said, hey, listen, um, I wasn't there, I overslept, and my pastor made a joke about it, obviously, and said, well, you know, all the, going all the doldrums, I would be sleeping too or something like that. Um, but, you know, it's good that, you know, he made me feel good about that. So it was, so they, at least they apologized and they forgave me and praise God. I will be there Sunday again. Um, <laughs> probably I'm not used to getting back to church or, you know, during this whole thing and it's really, really strange, but, um, So, so I want to conclude this video by saying, guys, to stay strong, be safe out there. If you, if you're in one of the cities that, are, that the riots are in, and police tell you to stay inside, stay inside, close your doors, bolt them, lock them, protect your house, protect all your belongings, protect yourselves, protect your family, your loved ones. You know, don't do anything crazy for, that will cause you to get hurt. Okay, I know d- dealing with the police is the last thing you want to do, and you, and 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 listening to to the police is one of the last thing you want to do too. Just um, stay, uh, just 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 stay safe, guys. Don't do anything rash. That's all I pray. I'm praying for you guys, and pray for all my subscribers. If you live in those different cities, you know I got 69 subscribers. <laughs> no comment on that. I'm just, just, I'm thankful for the subscribers. I know I have other subscribers. I have, for the, for the two channels I have with a total combined 300, uh, over 300 subscribers for both of my channels. Thank you guys so much. I know a lot of my blog videos, they were troll, troll channels, fake channels and whatnot, but probably bot channels, whatever. But nevertheless, thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate your support. And, um, like I said, um, a lot of exciting things coming up on, on this channel as well. Like I said, the, um, the South Coast Festival Cup Championship of 2020 will commence on the dates of the Wellness City Festival, which will be the second weekend of July. Which I want to check my calendar. I want to check my calendar. I, good thing I got a phone here. Okay, calendar. Calendar. Calunda. No. Um, let's see. And if we check in. 
Okay. Um, the ninth, tenth, eleventh, and tw- the ninth to the twelfth of July will be the first four games between the Freetown Knights and the Dartmouth Dragons. For the big, it's it's from the Big League Slugger Baseball. Just to um, just to let you guys know, okay, it's for my PlayStation Two game. All right, just to let um, PlayStation One game, I should say, because it was PlayStation One. I could play it on my PlayStation Two. All right, and then um, Ju- uh, July thirtieth, thirty first, first and second. Will be the um, last four games uh, representing the uh, Portuguese feast that was canceled earlier this year, and um, so and should there be a tie on Monday, August the third, um, there will be game nine of that series. That's the first team to win five games wins it all. So the best of technically it will be the best of nine, but is the best of eight five games wins it. All right. It's, it's, I know I would have done game seven, but I want to play it all three dates. That's what, that's what I want to do. So I figured, you know, I mean, all four, all four dates for each, for each, uh, event, alright? I want to keep that tradition going. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm just, you know. So it'll be the Dartmouth Dragons and the Freetown Knights because a lot of players on both of those teams that I made up are all my friends. Um, represent, you know, most of them are New Bedford natives, so a majority of them are New Bedford natives. Um, or were New Bedford natives. And they lived in New Bedford at one point. Now they moved on to other different parts of the country, other cities in the world, uh, uh, other cities in the country, and all uh, other cities in the state, and all that. You're gonna have, a, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a lot of sense of humor about it. And I'll probably share. Oh, yeah, mine. Um, also, um, one more thing. Uh, and one more thing. Um, let's see. Also, um, I'm going to do a throwback version of EML77 TV, so to speak, um, as I would comment on my old videos that I did under the original name of The People's Lima. That's how I first started this YouTube show back in 2011. It, it will lead up because next year will be my 10th anniversary on YouTube, um, between two channels and over a thousand episodes. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of flashbacks. Uh, I don't know if you guys have subscribed to my old channel. If you want to, um, I'll give you the link and everything else. You can watch my videos there. And if there's any videos you want me to comment on, um, let me know in the comment section. I would like to hear from you guys, see what's up, you know. Um, I figure, you know, have a lot of fun with it and just, um, you know, you know, have a lot of fun with it. And I'll, I'll probably pick videos, too, of my own there. So we're going to, we're going to, and we're going to have some fun. Now, um, so, so that's it. That's all the time we have on the show. Hope, um, hope this episode speaks to you a little bit, inspires you a little bit, and hopefully makes you think about, you know, what's been going on, how you're going to handle things. So, in order to slay a happy life vampire on social media, the block button is the stake to use. That's all I want to say about that matter. That's all. That's all you need to do. Don't respond to them. Don't respond. You know, that's why I call the bullies, trolls, and haters now the happy life vampires because that's their goal to suck the happy life and the happiness right out of you. You know? And you don't want that. The stake to the heart of the va- of the happy life vampires is the block button on your social media feeds. All right? So, so I am out of here. It's June 1st. Officially June 1st. The clock struck midnight on my computer. It's June 1st. Obviously, uh, my alarm clock's behind. Uh, let's see. My watch is... Oh, wait. What the heck? My watch is behind. Uh, my watch is behind. A uh, couple minutes. So tw- it is official. It is midnight. June the 1st is here. So it just, it just changed, man. It was really cool. So... Episode 649 is out. I will see you on episode 650. And hopefully I will bring back some more entertainment, possibly some more um, game show fun, play a little bit of Pressure Luck again, probably, or, you know, play uh, some Tic-Tac-Doe, High Rollers, Joker's Wild. Um, think about playing some Classic Concentration, the bonus round. That will be fun to do. Um, card Sharks, money, um, money Cards, I can play a little High Rollers. Um... I'll play Dreamhouse to Golden Doors too. I can play that. That's a lot of fun. Cause that's, it's probably the tough, the most difficult thing ever. So, I'll probably do that as well. I'm probably gonna have to, um, 
draw up uh make my own and as you can see my I make my own thumbnails. Now piezap.com has given me the ability to uh draw my own um, make my own thumbnails you can see. Um I'm trying to bring some color instead of showing my uh instead of showing my face doing all that all over the place then using um pics from the video itself I decided to make my own YouTube thumbnail pics you can see there if you like them. Uh you know, if you want to say, oh, how do I make one? You can find a render, um, use, and, and paint.net has been really, really helpful in that situation as well. Oh, I forgot to, uh, shut this down. It seems like. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to shut this down. Um, also, if I do get back to work from this pandemic, and if they decide to open up the back of the mall, what I'm going to do is I am going to collect all my TikTok videos, which I have here, and all my Snapchats during this, during the time of the pandemic and everything else, of the quarantine, and we're gonna mix them up all together and do a little, you know, quarantine silliness. It's gonna be a lot of videos, but at the same time, um, I may have to divvy them up a little bit. So, and get a, give a little, give give them a little bit of a theme. I'm gonna do a whole lot more on. I want to do some more TikTok videos. Uh, if you want, if you want to know, I do have a TikTok. I have a lot of fun on TikTok. It's a lot of fun to do. I got people liking my TikToks and everything else. Got a, got some followers on there. People that like me, and just uh, just to let you know, and just all activity. Um, TikTok, uh, you know, um, and, and so it's uh, you know, you know, a lot of people. Just, you know, there's people that like my video. Some crazy things you did. No, and. Uh, I was gonna watch that later. Anyways, um, I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun on here. And I just found out 80s T. Uh, I just found 80s T says you can use your debit card. So I do have debit cards when you use them to get some cool new 80s shirts. Yes. But here's another thing too. Um, so, um, good news from the local. Um, speaking of Gene Seafood, I talked about it earlier on. Gene Seafood will be reopening this Tuesday. They're gonna have some more. Uh, more details on that, so to um, go to their website, Gene Seafood, and uh, let's have some fun, all right? Well, let's have some fun on the next episode, 6:50. I'm kind of looking forward to what's going um, to um, what's um, to what's going to happen on my channel. Um, just, you guys just tune in, just have some fun, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I, I am very sorry if you had to hear a lot from me as of late, but but sometimes you know. You just can't escape it, though. That's the problem. It's, you want to escape from the reality, but there's you no know, people out there, you know. You know there, there's there's a lot of things happening. I just want to, you know, express myself. I know these two. This on the last episode, I really um, expressed myself and all that, and uh, it has been a very difficult, uh, difficult 24 hours I had to deal with, and uh, you know, dealing with everything on Twitter and everything else, and I'm kind of like, you know. I'm not upset at the people on Twitter because I just don't, I'm just sick of it. I'm just sick of allowing people to try to suck the life out of me and have a great, you know. I say, listen, relax, watch a game show. You know, game shows are fun to watch, you know. When when 9-11 happened, you know, a lot of people forget 9-11 happened. Game Show Network did not preempt any of their shows. Because all those shows would take, Game Show Network kept on going. I mean, I've been watching Pressure Luck, you know. I've watched Pressure Luck, man. I take pressure luck, man. You know? You know, we can't ignore what's going to happen, what's been happening in the world. I know that. But there are times we get to say, I'm sick of the news, I'm sick, I'm done with it, I need to watch something fun, I need to get, relax my mind. Because if you keep watching too much of the news, like I said before, you're going to lose your mind. And that's going to cause you to do things you don't want to do, that is not of you, that is... N- not of great positivity, and it's going to hurt you down the long run. That's why I care. I said, just, just, just get away from the news. Listen, I know you, you know too many social justice warriors, man. Too many, too many happy life vampires, man. They suck the life right out of you on social media. You can't allow them to do that to you. Okay, I love you guys. Have a great, wonderful night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug bugs bite. And be cool and out of sight, brother. No, no. Better yet, be cool and be dynamite. Okay? 
Be yourselves. Be careful out there. Do better, be better. Be better people. Our heart goes out to all of you. All of you. Every person. Black, white, brown, tan, yellow, red. Gay, straight, lesbian, it doesn't matter. What do you believe in God? Or not atheist, non-atheist, agnostic, Catholic, Christian, Pentecostal, Baptist, it doesn't matter. I like you for you. I look inside the heart of a person. I don't label people. Remember that. Peace and have a good night. Love you guys.